Hey, everybody, Ann here. It's the next morning. I've calmed down and I've started breaking down. Look at that. I even put that thing on top and there was a bunch of other stuff on top of it. Anyhow, I got to get this situation straightened out for the baby chicks. I'm tired. I didn't sleep very well last night. I haven't been sleeping very well at all. Anyhow, so yeah, I took the canopy down. I'm going to save the frame because there's nothing wrong with it. I can just put a tarp over the top of it and it'll be just fine. So I got to figure out something for these chickens. And this is what I came up with. Remember those two pieces? Yeah, I used those before for a chicken yard. Very tiny slots. Don't have to put netting over it. Uh, I have brought it all the way behind and up. And then, yeah, this tarp is not big enough to cover the whole thing. It's got holes in it. So it's just there for shade, basically. Um, so this was the play yard that was surrounding the coop before. Remember, the baby chicks could get through. So I just kind of... I separated a couple sections of it. I put one section down here and it's covered with netting. And then since there's a gap between here and here, I put more netting up there. Um, once they can fly really well, they'll still be able to get up here, but they won't be able to get out. And, well, let me just bring you around here. My genius. <laughs> yep, this is another janky Ant's Tiny Life build. What is going on over there? Goodness. Anyhow, um, so yeah, I just uh, used this and I, I made this a little bit longer because I wanted it to be kind of a little bit more weighted on this end so it wouldn't just collapse. So uh, this right here just lifts off and I can get in and out, no problem, um, tend to the baby chicks, and it does the same thing on the other end as well. Um, all I have to do to make sure it stays on right is just lift it over these tabs to a certain point, and then it kind of makes it have the right tension. Uh, this one needs to go underneath here, and I need two hands. Anyhow, so uh, I don't have a proper tarp right now. I do have something I can uh, put over it real quick. In fact, I saved uh, the the remnants of the tarp that was over the shade canopy, and I can throw it over the top of it real quick. And I have blocked off that underneath part just so I don't have to deal with what I did the other night. They don't need the space underneath of there. They've got space all the way behind here. So they've got plenty of room. I got the heat mat in there. So I hope this works. I just need to get another tarp that will cover the whole thing that's not got holes in it. Oh, and one thing I wanted to point out too, where I've got it right now, it's higher ground here and then it slopes down. Um, additionally, I put the higher fencing in the back and the lower fencing here. So when it rains, it'll go down and empty this way. The other one was just flush across the top and of course the rain comes and it um, just collapsed everything. So I'm thinking this will work a little bit better once I have a better tarp. <laughs> yep. One little girl got up there. Let's see what she does if she tries to jump up on that. Not gonna be able to because there's netting. <laughs> there she goes. Guess what, Jeanette? Your cart came today. Look at this, you guys. I think she made this. I think she made it. It's like 3D. It's got a chicken on the front of it, and the chicken has a little diamond in its eyes, and there's some little twine on it. And inside, it said, Well, there was the Amazon gift card. And where, where'd the dill go? Oh my gosh, where'd the dill go? Found it. Yeah, it looks like her dill did a lot better than mine. Oh, look at all those seeds, you guys. I am going to be planting some dill. I don't think I'm going to do it this year. I'm going to plant in the spring. I don't know. Can I plant dill now? Oh, that one little plant that I had didn't put out many seeds. I just let them go back into the ground. Oh, it smells so good. And the Amazon gift card arrived, and I have already bought something with it. It is the... Um, 
the chicken scratch that I had on my wish list. So I've already ordered that and it's on the way. And inside this beautiful card that I, I'm positive she made this herself. Um, it says seeds from my garden. Dill. And then, and this is warm and friendly greeting is dropping by to say that you are fondly thought about and wished a happy birthday. Hope you have a very blessed day. Love and hugs, Jeanette. Oh, you guys, this is so, this is so cool. Yeah, she made it. Made just for you by JP. Grandma Net. <laughs> I'm tired. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Look it. Look it. It's got a it's got a diamond for the eye. Is that not the coolest thing or what? Best card ever. Thank you so much, Jeanette. That means so much and I'm so glad that it finally arrived. I I'm not going to keep complaining about the US post office. Ooh, look it. There's some kind of spiderweb going on over there. Yikes. Anyhow, um, you know, is it is what it is. Um, I'm, I'm just glad it got here, finally. Anyhow, um, somebody, I'm not going to tell you who and I'm not going to tell you what, has done something very, very wonderful for me. And um, it's going to arrive, oh, I don't know, sometime next week. So when that comes, it's going to blow your mind, you guys. It is totally going to blow your mind. Because it's something that I wouldn't have even thought of myself, but it's something that I really, really need. I mean, long term, I'm going to need this thing. So you'll get to look forward to that. Anyhow, the only other thing I did today was do some laundry. So out of respect for your time, I'm not just going to try and fill it to make it like eight or ten minutes or whatever. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.